are watching Alliance Tournament 10. I am Kill2. I'm joined by Lazarus Tell Raven, and we're about to watch Fatal Ascension fight Tribal, Tribal Conclave. Conclave. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you can tell us about the setups. It looks like Tribal Conclave stepped it up a little bit from last week, in my opinion. But yeah, they had, they, a little bit of, they had a little bit of an odd setup last weekend. Uh, this weekend, they came with two Brutix, Rook, Oneros, Griffin, Griffin. I'm not sure how it's going to fare uh, so well against this the double Sleipner setup that FA brought. Double Sleipner, Scimitar, Griffin, Griffin, Merlin. So they got a little bit of jams with both sides. going. Uh, so if they keep those Griffins jammed out or the Rook jammed out, it's going to be a huge tell about how this match is going to end up. Um, important thing to note, the FA, I was talking to the FA leader uh, earlier today, and apparently right before this match started, they got contract scammed. Uh, they accidentally paid $23 billion isk for a Zor's custom navigation hyperlink, which generally is about $23 to $30 million isk implant. So, a little, yeah, little bit overpriced. Big ouchie. Um, so, we are getting the match started now. The Brudixes for Tribal Conclave warped to zero in the beacon with the rest of the Tribal Conclave support at an opposite angle, pretty far away from Fatal Ascension team. Wow, Tribal Conclave already losing a Griffin. Uh, and the uh, Fatal Ascension Slipner's actually warped to range on the beacon, about 20 or 30k to start. And there goes another Griffin, I'm assuming. So, both Griffins yes. down for uh, Tribal Conclave. Well, one thing I can think is that these Griffins on the FA side got good jams off of that Rook right at the start, and the, those Sleptners were left alone where they could DPS out across the grid because uh, those Griffins underneath those auto cannons just melt. Um, huge advantage wow. for FA here. Tribal Conclave Rook under pressure. He will be armor tanked, of course, with the Oneros, but that doesn't mean he's going to survive. He uh, taking a lot of damage from those Sleptners. Uh, because of the angles in the uh, FA team, there goes that Rook. Because of the FT FA team warping the Slipners to range, the Brudixes were not able to tackle them out of the gate, which means they just ran right past the Brudixes into the middle of the Tribal Conclave support. So uh, good decisions in, in terms of warp in and in terms of piloting after the match got started by Fatal Ascension. Yeah, it looks like the Tribal Conclave trying to uh, salvage this by sending drones after the Griffins on the uh, FA side. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. Uh, we got some light EC drones after one of the Griffins and the Hammerheads, which are now being called back, which the Hammerheads would be able to keep up with the Griffin anyways. Uh, we've seen DPS being applied to Zika Miner and the Brutix. Uh, I think this might be uh, a shutout match. I mean, unless they can get some of these frigates down, I, I don't think they're going to be able to come back from this. So... Maybe partly because of the ECM and maybe partly because they're tackled, the FA Slipner's deciding not to try to get out to that Oneros instead, just sticking on that Brutix, which is probably going to work out just fine for them. They have enough ECM in the form of the Griffins that uh, one cycle here or there will probably be enough for them to bring down this Brutix. They might actually have enough DPS just to burn straight through the Oneros reps anyway, but right now I don't see reps active, so it's likely well, that the Oneros is jammed. A big thing, a bit, big thing to remember about these armor setups is they don't have the ancillary uh, shield boosters like the Cyclones and Slepners have. So I mean, they're, these Cyclones and Slepners are getting huge amounts of uh, reps from uh, those boosters, whereas the armor setups don't have that. Yep, yep, and that means it hard for them to sustain the time between reps during jams for, for sure. So this first Tribal Conclave Brutix about to drop, and we're probably, like you said, going to see Tribal Conclave get shut out right here, which means. Uh, only needing six points to get through to the next round, they might actually fall short and not make it, which would allow another team in who's on the bubble. I know the second team on the bubble is Test, and we're all hoping they don't make it so that Michael Bolton tears run uh, strong all weekend. But the, the next team in line would be Choke Point by the look of it, uh, if Tribal Conclave doesn't manage to score any points here. Yeah, so these, these shutouts are giving a lot of hope for those uh, last few teams that are hoping to uh, slide in there. Uh, and I think we have one match after this, so, I mean, it, the points are narrowing down right now. Yeah, it's this is uh, getting to crunch time, and I know that there's a lot of people sweating which team is going to get in there uh, for that last spot or two. Uh, the second Brutix now for Tribal Conclave hurting pretty bad. He's about to go in the structure. Uh, it looks like something was able to get a shot on one of those Griffins, but at this point, with very few ships left for Tribal Conclave, uh, just the Brutix really to do any damage. Uh, it's very unlikely that he will be able to lock anything. It's probably just drones that have gotten in a little bit of damage on that uh, Griffin. But um, yeah, this is uh, winding down. We're going to definitely see uh, Fatal Ascension moving through despite spending $23 billion to play in this match. And Tribal Conclave yeah. probably not making it through. I, I don't think they planned on that happening in their <laughs> tournament fund. Probably not. That's a little expensive. <laughs> Uh, one thing else uh, I wanted to mention while we're in the middle of this match, uh, a match that has had a lot of ECM in it for a change. We actually haven't seen uh, a lot of ECM around. If you see uh, ECM graphics on your battle feed there on the new overlay for the tournament, keep in mind that those just are indicating attempts at jams. So just because there's a jam icon there doesn't mean 
the ship is necessarily jammed. It just means that there's a jam cycle attempted on it. And we do have now um, a tribal conclave asking in local uh, to spend a billion to hand over the frigates so that they get through. Uh, but I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be up to Zaggle. Zaggle is the alliance leader for uh, for Fatal Ascension. So, I mean, if, if they decide they want that money to help uh, replenish that alliance wallet from the 23 billion SKM plant, the, the, it could be. Well, they're off. They're up to three billion S being offered now. <laughs> I mean, we have at least they, at least they're not doing it in the last 10 seconds of the match like we've seen in the like today and yesterday. Um, they have five about five minutes left to uh, decide. Yeah, and they're uh, they're haggling pretty hard here. He went one one bill, two bill, three bill, and then a counter offer for 10 bill. So it looks like there's not going to be an agreement. This Oniros uh, was repping, and uh, now he's oh, not. So yep, that will be the match. I mean. All ships dead for the Tribal Conway side. <laughs> yeah, we won't be seeing them next weekend. So nice job, Fatal Ascension, uh, doing work there with a pretty standard Slipner setup. And we have one more match to go. We'll see you guys for that in a few minutes.